Flash is moving the tripod. <laughs> Nugget, quit moving the tripod, please. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Jessica and today I'm here for my TBR takedown for the month of June. If you're new here, I have been playing this TBR game where basically I'm trying to get my TBR from 240 to 113 by the end of the year, doing moderately okay so far. Yeah, let's just get into the month of June, shall we? Now, for the month of June, I did technically haul five books, but I'm only going to count two of them because three of them were gifts for my birthday that I had no control over because the point of the game is to lower my TBR and to curb my buying habits, I don't feel like I should be punishing myself over books that I had no choice in purchasing, if that makes sense. So because these three books were a gift, I'm not going to count them in my total for the year. They're just bonuses. That being said, also if I choose to read them, they will not count as coming off of my TBR. For the month of June, my starting number was 80. I double counted. It's still 80. This is the first month that I have double checked myself and not wrecked myself. I have the same number as what I ended the video with at the end of May. It's a new thing we're trying here math. So my total for the end of the month was 80, which means I have 80 more books that I need to read before the end of the year. That's a lot, but we're going with it. For my haul books, they are Ghosts of the Shadow Market by Cassandra Clare and Friends, uh, Cassie Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, Maureen Johnson, Kelly Link, and Robin Wasserman. Cassie Clare and Friends. This is a bind up of novellas that take place all over history that follow Brother Zachariah. I read probably the first four or five of these when they were released electronically and then realized that I wasn't up to date in the Shadowhunter world. I hadn't read Lord of Shadows yet and I was terrified that there would be a Lord of Shadows spoiler in here. I don't know if there is because I still haven't read it. So I stopped reading them halfway through. So I've only read about half of this. The next book that I hauled was Zodiac Star Force Volume 2 Cries of the Fire Prince. And if you have seen my vlog for the buzzwordathon, you know that I've already read this. Even though it doesn't have the buzzword in it, it was included in the buzzwordathon because that's when I read it. Definitely love this series. I hope that there are many more of these in the future. Zodiac Star Force is very interesting in that the first volume takes place a year after the girls have already saved the world and they've kind of fallen apart. So you don't really get to see their beginning story. You don't see how they become heroes. You see them after they've already become heroes and fallen apart. Really a great story. I highly recommend it. And then the three books that we will not be counting that are still in plastic are the Shadow and Bone trilogy by Lee Bardugo. They are Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, and Ruin and Rising. In the hilarious take that I actually put Six of Crows back on my shelf in all forgiveness because I did not own these and I was told that I should read these before I read the Six of Crows duology and then someone bought me these for my birthday, who does not watch my channel and does not know that I shelved them. Funny, but it's how life works sometimes. So like I said, I'm not counting these because again, they were a gift, but also if I should choose to read them, they will also not count towards my ultimate goal. They're like a freebie, but also they don't give me any bonuses in the future, but they're very pretty. And now I'm going to go through my reads. As always, I will link in the description box below and in the cards my wrap up for the month because I don't give a description of these. This is really just a different type of video. I describe my haul because I don't do a haul video, but because I do a full wrap up video with descriptions and everything, I'm not going to go over my read books. I'm just gonna tell you what I read and then we can go from there. Cool. As we already discussed, I read Zodiac Star Force Volume 2, Cries of the Fire Prince, Hex Hall by Rachel Hawkins, The Serpent's Shadow by Rick Riordan. This is the third book in the Kane Chronicles. The Last Little Blue Envelope by Maureen Johnson. This is the finale and second book to the 13 Little Blue Envelopes duology. On the Fence, The Filling Boyfriend, and By Your Side, all by Casey West. The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. Strange and Ever After by Susan Dennard. This is the third book in the Something Strange and Deadly series. This Heart of Mine by C.C. Hunter. And The Only Thing Worse Than Me Is You by Lily Anderson. That was a total of 11 books. And for this month, I actually had zero DNFs and zero unhauls, which I think is a first this year. And and so that gets my total down to 71 books for the month of June, for the end of the month of June, which means that 71 for the rest of the six months, which means that I need to read about 11.8, so 12 books a month to get to my goal by the end of the year. And I don't know that that's going to happen, but we will be finding out together towards the end of the year because I don't really have anything left that I'm okay with just unhauling without having tried because 
everything that I, I don't buy books anticipating not enjoying them. So while there were some books at the beginning of the year that I had read the first book of the series and didn't like it so I was able to get rid of the rest of them and was able to do like a couple of big unhauls at the beginning of the year and then a couple months ago, I don't really have books on my shelf right now that I feel like I can do that with and justify it because the books that I have I genuinely want to read. As I said in the last video, even if I get down to a lower number, if I get into like 120 instead of 113, and I feel like everything that I have is genuinely something that I want to read, I can probably live with that, but I'm not really sure what exactly we're going to do. I'm not trying to be super harsh, I'm just trying to reach the ultimate goal of having less books on my shelf that I need to read. So having a goal of 12 per month is interesting when you look at the fact that for the first half of the year, last month in May was my highest read month, I read 13 and it was like 5,200 and some pages. Whereas this month I read 11 books, but it was 3,000 and some odd pages. So it was like 2,000 pages less in this month and last month, but only two less books. In February I read nine books, but the other three months everything was like six or seven books. So I'm gonna have to read double what I've read for the majority of the year every month to get to where I need to be. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but I'm gonna try. I do have quite a few like smaller children's books that I plan to read in December and that should help. I have a few graphic novels. I really want to get to the the Sweep series by Kate Tiernan um, and those look really thick but there's actually three books in each book so there's 15 of them. Um, I really want to get to those this year as well. I mean I have some routes that I can take. I actually last month re-reorganized my TBR shelves. They were previously separated by 2018 purchases versus pre-2018 purchases. And I finally got to a point to where I was able to trim the shelves down quite a lot. I mean, I've read 52 books this year. And now it is set up, the lower shelf is books that I want to get to sooner rather than later. And the top shelf is books that I'm okay with waiting until next year or so to get to. It is the 4th of July and fireworks are starting. So I'm going to get off of here so you don't have to listen to those for the next three hours. Let me know in the comments below if you've read any of these books, if you are playing any TBR games, because I'm really loving the TBR games this year and I would love to check them out. I post reading, writing, and book related videos on Mondays and Wednesdays, bonus videos on the weekends. In July I'll basically be posting on both Fridays and Sundays as well because I have a lot of content. So if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future. Make sure you subscribe and until then I will see you guys next time. Bye!